playground for two little girls. Something's not right. Bloody hell, let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble him! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Is that some sort of witch? I don't like it. What the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> Hands off my half, dearie. Don't want me to get cross. Then you open it. What? Now who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. <laughs> but never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. Oh, I don't like you. And you'll make a tasty morsel. I hate you. Get away from me. Oh, shit. Just shit. as soon as I catch you. What? Oh, man. Do I, have, do I have oils? Let's see. I don't even know who she is. How, whoa, I got a bunch of just garbage. What am I carrying? Can I drop some of this? So we're just gonna go back to the oil. sword dude and we froze her with art what what the hell was that the wicked witch oh you've heard of her haven't you now where did you put that key listen I how do you come by a weapon it's Prince Charming's he no longer needs it here it is It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so huh. you can breathe easy. Breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that, What's that about? Jack knows what I mean, so he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. 
Isn't that right? See, Anna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Oh, something tells me you're lying. Uh oh. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. Uh -oh. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarieta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. <sighs> he had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoot. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Searching for my lost childhood. Wound up to <laughs> care more than his little boy. Don't quite remember how. Never had any toys. Never played any games. <laughs> what do you think? Why might I be here? <laughs> it's Deadlof. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Detloff, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Detloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Detloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Cool. Shake on it. We have two relic swords on our back. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you, Renfrey of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her. Didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. Huh. Wow. Okay. Since you brought it up, the knights Detloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Dulac, Lacroix, Peyrec Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but... I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm hmm But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulaik had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. Wow. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. This place. Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. So Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. Great. So you had best be on your watch. Great. Wonderful. So what's with the beans? So, what's with the beans? Jack and the beans. Mind sauce? explaining? Mm, what is it? Certainly. That you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. I 
darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beams. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beams. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Okay. This is awesome. We could have done the vampire path or the fairy tale path. I chose the fairy tale. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. Alright. Should we look around or. This place is so cool. God, I love it. Hey, right, let's go up here to the statue real quick. Hold on. Can we go in there? Jack in there, like burning. What's in here? I can't believe we can open these. Okay. Um, what about the witch's house itself? I don't think we can go in there. Ooh, look at this. That's it. That's boring. Alright, let's go. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. We needn't fret. Time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside, mere minutes will have passed. Lots of poison apples, huh? What's that? What is that? Oh shit. It got dark and creepy. Hmm. Ooh, the golden path is neat. Oh, this is awesome. Wait, are we going in a, a fucking cave? Yeah, we are. This is bad. Watch out! Pixies! Pixies? I don't wanna play with pixies. Uh oh. Pixies I've met. No. To protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. They like my boots because it matches. I'm gonna take my gold boots. Oh, we're back in the sun. Yay. Dude. Oh, unicorns. We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. Wow. Go, go.
place. Relax, it's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He the boy who lies. cried wolf. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Got it. Still does, I suppose. And Asset. doesn't. When they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. <laughs> Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything. Not one thing. And besides, watch out. Wolves. Stop it. This will be interesting. Right. Let's get to it. Yellow beam. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? <laughs> hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Help! Wolves! <laughs> uh. Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! <laughs> Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Uh -oh. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Who's that? Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you <laughs> to the fishes. Damn. Understood? Damn. She's hot when she's pissed. Alright. Alright, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Oh my god. He said it again. Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies, or more precisely, reverses the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables, the meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each, and Goldilocks, of course. What? Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah. Wow. Fine. We're gonna be here for Let's a get while. to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Damn. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do uh. then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once. That sort of thing. What? Stole the pee out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. <laughs> oh my Stop god. Stop prodding me and find the beans. Okay, 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 okay. Let me get my loot. I wonder if it's like, what's it say when I loot it? It's still the same. Alright, who's this closest? Faster! Come on, you... you... Know what? They need names. I'll call mine... Hmm... Anis. Call mine Roach. Roach? Are you serious? Ugh. <laughs> Take it easy. Oh shit! I can't get off. Ah. Hmm. Oh my god. Stop prodding me and find the beans. You stop, just stop being like that. Three bears. 
Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small, the third just right. Man. This is bad. Blonde curls. Rest of the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without oh. asking. No being here. Gotta keep looking. So... What do we do with the plates? Are they gonna get mad if we try to eat? Oh now, whoa. What is that? What is that? What's happening over there? Four animals stacked atop each other. What was the tail called again? of Blathican. Huh. You've summoned me to the town as well, don't you? Mm -hmm. But my tale's not much like this one. Oh, get old, get old. You call me cruel. Okay. Is happening. Big bad wolf. Can we talk? Watch my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. <laughs> oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? You can always have a drink with us. Oh, what? <laughs> no! Not on your life! I can barely stand, I'm so hungover! You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. <laughs> and resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats! Sianna to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods popped her clogs. What? A thousand uh -huh. times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp 
For he all her, her loving labor. Who now also at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter. Which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> this is great. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. <laughs> so, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. What's in well, there? Chop, chop. this look like? Oh, it's night armor. I'm just gonna see what everything looks like real fast. We had this on, the vampire, and then the vampire. That's what it could look like. What else we got? 37 now. 41 now. Drop that. Look at that. All Down. Right. Time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Guys, on the next episode, we're gonna go in the rabbit hole. Hell yeah, you like that, didn't you? <laughs> Thanks for coming out on Mixer to Epic Tommy 01. I appreciate y'all coming out, and uh, we'll have another episode of either this or the other three or four games I'm playing right now. I hope everybody's having a good day and a good night, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.